It should be a very interesting matchup here in the Olympic Sports Complex in Moscow. This man, Sarek Konikbaev, the veteran at just 24 years of age. He lost the world championship in stunning fashion to Mark Breland of the United States. This young man, Mylon Watkins from Tacoma, is built a lot like Mark Breland. Long arm, 6'3", and he's in the tough class that Breland dominates in the United States' broadweight division. Round one, and a big graduation day for Mylon Watkins it is. Coming out of the Junior World Championships, where he impressively stopped the Bulgarian in the first round to win a World Junior Championship. His first international bout against the big guys. And what a man he has chosen is Derek Konikbaev. Konikbaev has won four dual meets against the United States. His only loss to an American was to Mark Breland of the World Championships in Munich. When Breland was so impressive, he was named the outstanding boxer of the meet. The young man Watkins, not the least bit intimidated so far by Conic Bio. Milan's just 18 years of age, still a high school student at Wilson High in Tacoma. And like Mark Breland, the man he idolizes and aspires to someday perhaps dethrone in this welterweight division, he's got the long arms, the tremendous reach that goes along with that advantage. Conic Bio won his first European championship back in 1979, and then suffered the indignity of losing the Olympic gold medal bout in his hometown right here in the Olympic Sports Complex in Moscow to an Italian, Patrizio Oliva, who's gone on to be a pretty good pro. So as you look at the record of Konik Baev, he's a consistent bridesmaid, but his trouble going all the way to the gold medal podium, and that's what he's aiming for in Los Angeles in the Olympics this summer. Who knows? He may be right up against Mark Breland again. Now getting a bit of a test run against a similar style of Breland. Here's the referee, Stan Hamilton, from Knoxville, Tennessee, with a caution to Mylon Watkins. Watkins, very fluid like Breland, very loose, and surprisingly confident against the man with the credentials of Conic Bio and his corresponding experience. Midway in the first round now, talking with Mylon before the bout. He said he wouldn't be nervous, and lo and behold, he looks mighty loose in there. is tough though he can take a punch when Breland decked him in Munich it was a big surprise for the amateur boxing world hold on caution against Connick Bayer first round scheduled for three in the welterweight division the United States and the Soviet Union tied at three wins apiece in the 12 bout dual card here in Moscow Watkins trying to set something up with the left hand. Conic Baev constantly moving around, so he won't be an easy target for Mylon Watkins. He knows the credentials of Watkins coming out of the World Junior Championships and how he tagged the Bulgarian to win his gold medal there. Less than 30 seconds remaining now in the first round. Constant movement, bouncing by Conic Baev. Watkins succeeding a little bit now in backing the veteran up. Coming forward with a good flurry that excites this crowd here in Moscow. They have not been too animated or vocal so far. Only recently have had any reason to be that way. They came back from a 3-0 deficit to tie this dual meet at three. Just seconds remaining now in the first round. Out of the first round against Mylon Watkins as they work on him in the Soviet corner. Not too serious. Stan Hamilton, though, the referee, over to have a look. And there's no question that uh, Stan Hamilton now would like the ringside doctor just to verify that it is not a serious cut. That must have happened very late in the round. There was no sign of it earlier on the part of Konik Bayev. Doctor with a fast look as the tone is counting down to round two. He's okay. So, Conic Bayev and Mylon Watkins ready for the second round, scheduled for three in the welterweight bout. The U.S. and the Soviets tied 3-3 in wins. Conic Bayev late in that round with his movement seemed to confuse Watkins a bit more, who really gave a good account of himself for at least the first two minutes of the bout. The southpaw from Tacoma, Washington, scored well with the jab, did not follow through with his big left hand, as he might have liked. But here again, early in the second round, is backing the veteran, veteran Conic Bayev up. A low head caution from the referee to Conic Bayev. Referee again in amateur boxing has no vote. Three ringside judges will do that again in each bout. It's an American, a Soviet, and a neutral judge from Great Britain.
good right by Connick Byer. Rips it through to Milan Watkins. Magson again with it. Connick Byer, but good showing with two forceful blows early in the second round. Watkins, for the first time, is backing up. He was doing that to Connick Byer regularly in the first round. A good round for Milan. I thought he might have won. on the ropes. The crowd gets a chuckle out of that. Again, a very quiet crowd here in Moscow today. That's the boisterous kind of uh, following that attends many boxing matches in the United States, pro or amateur. We're midway in the second round. It is scheduled for three. Watkins still giving a good account of himself, but Connick Byam picking up points in this, the second round. Turns Milan around, but failed to capitalize, but he had him in the corner. And his caution for turning him around by Stan Hamilton from Knoxville, Tennessee. This is a very tough division, and the confident young Watkins is not uh, discounting his chances of making the Olympic team, but to do that this year, he would have to beat out Mark Freeland, a man who has lost but once in his outstanding amateur career. Freeland, the guy that if he's the surefire gold medal winner, if such a thing exists on the United States part, he is it. With that hand that he had surgery on last spring holds up for him, and uh, at this point it has. But what a learning experience for Mylon Watkins. Fighting internationally against a foreign crowd thousands of miles from home, televised nationally in the United States and the Soviet Union, against a fighter of the caliber and credentials of Sarek Konik Bayev. He's handling himself extremely well. But perhaps losing some points he may have earned in the first round in the second round. You see now it is Watkins moving in reverse gear. Konik Bayev, the veteran, more and more taking control of the bow. Tags it with the right. Watkins got through with the left now. Just a few seconds left of the second round, but it's been a better one for Connick Bayev of the USSR. Right at the bell. A good right again by Sarah Connick Bayev, piling up points late in round number two. Mylon Watkins held his own for the first half of that round, but here, perhaps the most telling blow of them all in round two, the right delivered by Connick Bayev. Don Chevrier back with you from Moscow for the third round of an interesting welterweight matchup between 18-year-old Mylon Watkins of the United States and the KG veteran Sarah Konik Bayev of the Soviet Union. Watkins with a good first round, Konik Bayev really coming into his own in the second round, backing Watkins up. So it perhaps is on the line here in this third and final round in the sports complex in Moscow. Konik Bayev, one of the real favorites of the Soviet fans over the years with his credentials going through the Olympic Games into the World Championships, getting silver medals in both. Expected to breeze past Watkins here, but that has not been the case, despite a good second round for Sarek. However, he has seemingly solved the long arms of Mylon Watkins, getting inside him and scoring effectively, particularly in the closing couple of seconds of that second round. Stung Mylon with a good, stiff right hand. Pushing him off again now as the caution for holding is given by referee Stan Hamilton to Milan Watkins. Not a good raw talent on the part of Watkins. He needs a little refining, perhaps. Remember, this is his first international bout. The crowd now starting to chant, getting behind. Connick Bayev all the more. First time they have really come alive today. The United States shut them out of the first three bouts. Soviets came back to win the next three. Here's the go-ahead bout in the round three right now. Good right hand by Connick Bayev. But he gives away in height and reach to uh, Watkins. He makes up for in quickness, to be sure. And, of course, the experience factor. He is six years older and has fought the top amateurs around the world the last few years. And his first European championship five years ago. Watkins moving, but in retreat. a minute to go in the third round. A quick right comes out, followed by a left by Mylon Watkins. Again, 
Connick by a beating Watkins to the punch. Making the young man look a little bit awkward at the stage. Russian corner. Caution for talking. That is not allowed. And amateur bout to international. Less than 30 seconds to go on the round. The third and final round of the welterweight bout. Looks to be in command now. Mylon Watkins, who got off to a good start. I thought he won the first round. Lost the second to Konik Bayev, and the experienced Soviet fighter has been piling up points against the game young man for Tacoma here in the third. And that's the bell to end their three round weatherweight matchup. Decide which country goes ahead here in this dual boxing meet. Soviet crowd appreciating what they saw from Konik Bayev there. Love the boxing in Moscow, and they love the way this man fights when he's right, and Konik Bayev looked right in rounds two and three. There's the right hand lunging out to the taller man, Watkins, nailing him with it. Here's the decision now. Derek Konik Bayev has won a unanimous decision over Mylon Watkins of the United States. Watkins, in his first international bout, gave a good account of himself.